Hi everyone, we are joined here by international master Amea Audi, who actually won the best game prize for his uh, sixth round game against Grandmaster Jumaib Marat. Amea, how's the feeling and how was the tournament for you overall? Yeah, the game uh, was very beautiful. Uh, I, I think the finish was very pretty. Uh, the tournament was okay. It was a well organized event uh, and uh, the organizers had taken care of uh, everything. And this was their first edition. So I look forward to the next edition of Indoor G. Yeah, definitely it was a very good tournament with a good prize fund as well. But okay, let's uh, talk about this uh, wonderful game actually. So you had the white pieces and uh, you started with uh, E4. And uh, you went into this Italian. Nothing too interesting here, just normal stuff. And uh, can you just take us through the, to the point where the action started to happen? You yes. can take the mouse, please. So, yeah, here he played this interesting move for B5. I had not expected that. Mm -hmm. So then I just, uh, I just decided to take, take. And uh, I thought I have a little better control over the center. Yes. So I kept here I kind of played a little deep uh, prophylaxis, I okay. think. <laughs> so I just made a kind of waiting move. Mm -hmm. So with h3, h3. because uh, I was thinking if I go d4, mm -hmm. he will go b4 mm -hmm. and his queen is protecting b6. Correct. So if I go h3, I was expecting queen d7 mm -hmm. or h6. Mm -hmm. So if he, he went queen d7, mm -hmm. so now I would go d4. So mm -hmm. when he goes b4, I have knight c4. So that was the point. So uh, this move yeah. h3, I think the main idea is to prevent uh, knights from coming to g4 or some or similar yeah, idea, right? Or even create loft for the king. Yeah, so that, that's get back rank mated. Yeah, yeah. Later there may not be time. Mm -hmm. like now I have some time I can make that move. Mm -hmm. Before yeah. opening the center, you want to make loft yeah, for the king. Yeah. Correct. It's possible. Yeah. Uh -huh. It may not be most accurate, but it's just a way to play. And it's interesting. Yeah. Basically. So bishop d8 bishop and knight f1. So he wants to go bishop b6 but he can't go yet because bishop g5 is coming mm -hmm. so but he that's why he went at six mm -hmm. i developed and now he went rook e8 mm -hmm. now i wanted to just play simple with bishop b1 that was my original intention then so I bishop b1 was your original idea as you mentioned yeah so then if he develops the like bishop, bishop b6 then i have knight f5 so mm -hmm. this would be like a normal way to play and this uh, position, I guess, white has a little edge after knight f5. Maybe you can uh, see. Yes, yes, uh, yes. But uh, I chose knight f5. Mm -hmm. It was a kind of a risky uh, decision. Yeah. Like because I have to uh, make some sacrifices now. So first, of course, he took. Mm -hmm. Now he's exploiting the e4 weakness. Correct. So I took here. Yeah. This is this was I think yeah. the start of the fireworks. Yes, you know? yes, exactly. So if he takes here, mm -hmm. then I had queen c1 and queen f6. Mm -hmm. So for example, and. Uh, uh, so yeah, this queen c1 idea I think was very nice. So let's say g h6 just to show the viewers. Yeah, queen c1. Queen c1. And uh, let's say, okay, there's no good way I guess to protect this uh, yeah, exactly. pawn. The only way to continue mm -hmm. would be like uh, the best way would be like rook takes e4. Yeah. But for example, this knight h6 is mm -hmm. there. And then even f7 is falling. So yeah. king f8. Now say, it's over I guess somehow. Yeah, almost. Uh, it going uh, sorry. Okay. So when the rook takes e4, knight takes e4, there are moves like knight f7, and then queen h6 to follow. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it was not, it's not an easy position for mm -hmm. him. So he definitely he took this pawn, mm -hmm. and I also took here, and uh, he took this dc3. DC3. And now again, now I could, um, uh, now I think I, as per uh, the engine at least, I have made a mistake. Okay. <laughs> I should I simply take this, mm -hmm. since I have... Uh, made huge progress on the king side. That's true. Yeah, we have lost two pawns each, but uh, like he also took two pawns, I also took two pawns, but right. in the end his king is weaker. Yeah, and your king is very safe, very there's safe. no sort of attack as well. Yeah, so later I could attack. Correct. But uh, here I, I, I don't know, I was in the mood to attack. <laughs> yeah. So I continued with knight g5. Mm -hmm. Kind of an inigacy, but it was a uh, good, I think. Uh, like it, it's a good practical option, so to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So take, take, cb2, mm -hmm. and now rook d1. Okay. So now I, uh, now for example, uh, now my threat is bishop f7. So if he goes mm -hmm. d5, mm -hmm. then I can take, take, uh, rook takes, 
for example and then the back rank yeah. is weak and then there is a back rank mate correct so he has to keep in mind these yeah. sort of tactics and all yeah exactly or if he makes a queen uh-huh. to distract then also i can take take and uh, take this knight takes f7 uh-huh. with like i was thinking of some variations like this during the game well this must have been really hard to calculate during the game right uh it's uh, yes kind of but it's uh, coming uh, all pieces are attacking on every move so mm-hmm. it's like a little easier so it's uh, maybe forcing that we don't have to think of very quiet moves during the calculation yes yes, yes. that's true yes f4 uh, f4 you played f4 idea i guess is to just open the e file probably yes, yeah. yes. uh it's like uh, i want this knight to move so mm-hmm. my bishop uh, is open yeah that's true. and then also i want to get the queen mm-hmm. correct out. so so he moved the knight probably i saw this variation actually uh, i was not happy about my position so at I this point know. yeah okay. because i realized there is this and i wanted to go queen g3 first mm. but there is queen c1 ah okay and then if rook e1 knight d3 so i realized this is not good actually mm-hmm. and uh, here also for example queen c6 then i wanted to go knight f3 afterwards mm-hmm. and queen here but this is also like lost so i would in the end settle on queen c1 knight here and knight f5 threatening mm-hmm. knight e7 ah okay Four. knight e7 is coming and uh, is there yeah. a good way to stop it yeah rook e8 rook e8 is still a uh, very unclear position but uh, okay is not yeah, i guess the like the unclearness or the complication of the position adds with this pawn on b2 which can maybe make a queen sometimes yes, and yes. that lead is to a, very uh, unnecessary tactics so to yes say. that is uh, one of the problems mm-hmm. for white also that's true so he moved his knight uh-huh. now but that was a uh, mistake actually now i'm getting my pieces in mm-hmm. he... so maybe this uh, knight c4 move was not the best maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe he should have continued with bishop b6 check probably yes yes probably. but yeah it was like too comp- this yeah. is a very complicated position and like it's everybody the... is making mistakes so <laughs> here for example uh, i as per engine this would be this uh, i played rook e1 so mm-hmm. this would be a mistake okay so but uh, actually if i don't play rook e1 it mm-hmm. will end up in a draw so for example if i move the knight mm-hmm. threatening i saw this also okay i want to move this knight mm-hmm. but he will attack mm-hmm. then again attack so, yeah and uh, yeah, he will basically repeat moves yeah, yeah so or if i move this knight back mm-hmm. then he will attack this way mm-hmm. then again i move he will again Attack. so there is is just a draw so right so like yeah. uh, when you are and at this point especially you are you are believing that okay this is a very good attack and i am about to create something beautiful so at this yeah. point you certainly don't want to go for a draw right like this yes 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 so no i didn't want to go for a draw i did not know how it will look like in then <laughs> it could even end up very bad for me that's true that's but true. Uh, yeah i just wanted to um, <laughs> play for win no, correct i went here but check Yeah, and bishop e3 was mm-hmm. played. This was like a little strange move, but his threat is clear. Like mm-hmm. for example, if I mm-hmm. play a move like this, he wants to take, mm-hmm. and uh, his min pin. So if yeah. I take here, then it's made. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. like it has some very uh, strict ideas, so to say. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, maybe it was not the best. Yeah, bishop e3. Uh, I didn't see this move, so okay. it came as a surprise. <laughs> but uh, I don't uh, remember now what I was expecting. Okay. So it's okay. Yeah. So yeah. So after edge. Bishop e3, Bishop uh, e3. Yeah, I have moved uh, Knight f5. Actually, no. here there was also one nice way to finish the game. Mm-hmm. Maybe Knight e8. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what's the idea? Rook so, takes c8. So, no, Rook takes c8. Then I would just move the Knight and mate. And uh, yeah, yeah. That's. But true. other other moves were like uh, if he continues Bishop f4, then I have Knight f6 here and this is mate. Oh, wow. So this is that uh, yeah. beautiful mate. Yeah, yeah. So what? Mm-hmm. knight h5 okay but i think uh, just which one? okay knight h5 maybe you have to move your queen uh, to g4 right yeah maybe queen g4 is also there mm-hmm. or uh, ah sorry or actually this just this knight f6 ah, was there and then knight moves ah, yes, so yes, yeah yes. yeah 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 so maybe knight d8 was the best yeah so but uh, that was the thing yeah i had yeah. missed uh, i think i missed this knight f6 it's time. easy to miss because okay yeah. knight f6 you are no uh, but but i had not uh, not concerned also of this uh, move i had not uh, really focused on knight e8 i saw knight f5 and i saw it's winning so, uh, I, so you I didn't was, think any further so no 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 yeah i was not looking for other options correct, correct. i not much at least so uh-huh. i just saw okay there may be knight knight e8 knight h5 knight e6 but 
if i saw knight f5 is threatening knight e7 and also the bishop mm -hmm. I, i just need one piece to win correct <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, no. so if i just take this way it's yeah nice. it's winning it's a winning end game that yeah. you played off yeah so i expected this also from him queen mm -hmm. g2 uh -huh. queen g2 and now i thought if he will take with the bishop uh -huh. then uh, i will take rook e3 because if knight takes then uh, because i was seeing such variations so i uh, were yeah so this mating yeah. pattern with this uh, three or four minor pieces around the king side is very common throughout the game it's a common thing which yes, is yes. repeating it's yeah but it is rare in yeah very rare very yeah, rare this formation like, uh, very yeah, nice. this all pieces uh, so close correct and check me actually it's physically like uh, close to the yeah, king yeah. like otherwise bishops and all are like far away mm -hmm. and they are giving check me but here all four uh, minor pieces are very close and yeah basically they are controlling all the squares for the king yes yes so rook e3 93 93 uh, uh, that would be one variation or Correct. b1 queen then mm -hmm. uh, uh, then for example first first 90. 97 then check and then take so, yeah. yeah so you have to basically you will capture that queen but in a certain order yeah, with, yeah uh, exactly. like with the correct amount of checks yeah, so to yes say. yeah so for example here also he did this and then took but i have to give some checks first <laughs> And check now he's in a meeting net so he moved the bishop I just took so knight takes would mean and uh, uh, rook e4 bishop. was a very nice finishing shot I guess yeah so this yeah. was the first time this rook came to e4 but Correct. not the last Correct. so he went check mm -hmm. I just moved the king this was the best right yeah 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 for example there were like uh, uh, probably it looks simpler mm -hmm. but it is not so for example if he takes then take then it looks like I will just be up a piece but uh, but the thing is this army of pawns is there that is yeah, the main problem yeah, that only so here for example uh, he will, he will continue and try to get a piece or <laughs> get the bishop for uh, the b pawn the, at least one bishop he can definitely get but Correct. after that uh, i will have to try to fight uh, and yeah, yeah it will be a complex another 2 hours fight yeah, i guess probably probably, <laughs> probably yeah so yeah i went king h1 he knight d2 again i think uh, yeah. nice defense probably yeah actually he was finding good good resources like okay. rook g8 check also this but here uh, unfortunately just take uh, and now if he would take this piece mm. then i would just go rook here and mate so so that was like uh, yeah that mm. was good for me correct so knight f4 mm. rook takes e4 and if he again takes then uh, again i have rook h4 winning but he just uh, went rook g6, uh, rook g6 yeah. and uh, yeah i could again go rook h4 or rook g4 but i wanted to uh, yeah i wanted to have this type of finish with rook g7 and uh, it was very nice of him right at yeah. the end to allow this uh, checkmate on the board i think Uh, did he allow or was it uh, like did he design in after rook yeah, g6 he, he designed here oh, okay. but okay but still yeah, yeah it's old, it's only one move away yeah, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah but he allowed all this so it was very nice like all the pieces so yeah this yeah. final position is a definitely yeah. screenshot material we can say yeah, yeah. which you can keep uh, everyone can keep actually yeah. and uh, if you, you